When you export your Squirrel dashboards, you're provided with an HTML file and associated JavaScript and CSS files ready to deploy. Your dashboard will either have embedded data or go out and retrieve data via any of the connectors that you may have configured and will load up just as you tested in preview mode. There are times, however, where you may want to pass in some external parameters when you load the dashboard. An example of this could be passing in a user or department ID and then showing data that is relevant or more importantly that the particular user has permission to see. For this we have created the external parameters function. There are two parts to this process. The first is preparing to receive parameters inside your Squirrel dashboard and this is achieved in our standard code-free way. The second part of passing in the parameters happens outside of Squirrel. There are two ways to do this and one of which requires some basic JavaScript. If JavaScript isn't your thing, don't panic. I'll go through an example of how to use it and also provide files for you to download and have a play with. Firstly, we need to prepare to receive external parameters. To do this, there are two insertion types, get and JS message. To start, we give our parameter a name. This is the name we will refer to when passing in a value a little later on. Then we bind our value destination to a cell in the spreadsheet. Later, when we pass in a value associated with the name parameter, it will be injected into this cell and can be used in your dashboard. This is all we need to do inside of Squirrel, and the dashboard is ready to be exported. When viewing your dashboard either locally or on a web server, the part we're interested in now is the URL. The way we pass a get parameter into the dashboard is by using the URL query string. After the URL, we add a question mark, followed by the parameter name we chose inside of Squirrel, then an equal sign, and finally we type the value we want to inject. Let's take a look at this in action now. So I have a simple dashboard here, and to demonstrate external parameters, I'm going to pass in a user's first name and a code that we can use to retrieve that user's gravatar image. I've got a label bound to cell A2, which will display the user's first name, and an image component with its source bound to cell D1. D1 is a concatenation of a Gravatar URL and the user's code that we'll be injecting. We have the external parameters function added to our project and I've created two parameters. Picture we will use for the Gravatar code and user for the user's first name. These parameters have been bound to cell A1 and A2 respectively. Right, let's test this out. Here we have the exported dashboard and as you can see I'm running it locally rather than on a web server but the principle is the same. The username and image are the defaults we set inside of Squirrel. So to pass in the first parameter we add a question mark followed by the parameter name then equals and our value. As we reload the dashboard we can see that the username has been received inside the dashboard successfully. To add the second parameter, we add an ampersand followed by the second parameter, then equals, and then the value, which in this case is my Gravatar code. Reloading the dashboard, we can see that both parameters have been received successfully. So that in a nutshell is external parameters with get. There are two things to consider with this method, and they are that you can only pass in parameters on load of the dashboard, and the second is that the parameters and values are visible to the user, so they could try to inject other values for instance. JS message on the other hand sends messages to the dashboard via JavaScript, so the URL is untouched and you're able to pass in values multiple times without reloading the dashboard. Let's take a look at this now. Firstly, inside Squirrel, the setup is exactly the same as get, apart from the type dropdown, where we change from get to JS message for each of the parameters that we want to use. Right, that's done. We're ready to save and export our dashboard. Here we have the exported dashboard. Now, for this demonstration, we're going to pretend that we want to show this dashboard on our company web or intranet site. To do this, I've created a separate HTML page which will act as our website. The plan here is to show our dashboard in this web page. 
So here comes the Cody bit. This is the basic HTML for the page we're looking at. So I'm going to add an iframe into the HTML and set the source to our dashboard. We save that and return to the web page. As I refresh, we can now see the dashboard sat in our web page. The next thing we want to do is set up the JS message for inserting parameters into our dashboard when we click either of the two buttons on our web page. Firstly, let's take a look at our buttons. So here they are, the two buttons that we have. When we click on them, we've got non-click handler, we're going to call a function, and I've set up a function called send message. And in that, when I call that function, I'm passing in two parameters. The first parameter is going to be the username, and the second parameter is going to be the code for that Gravatar link. So if we come down into the script, firstly, I've set up a pointer, which is pointing to the dashboard inside the iframe. So that's our reference to that dashboard. And then I've created the function called send message, the one that we're going to be calling here, send message function. And that function takes two parameters, the user and the code, the picture code. Now this is the important bit. Here we take the reference of our dashboard and we call the post message. Now this is the way we call into our dashboard. So we use post message and then what we do is we need to pass a message in in the following format. So we pass this object in. The first key here is name. Now this is a keyword, you can't change that, you need to keep it as name. And the name is the name of the parameter. So here we put in the name of the parameter that we put, we created inside of our um, dashboard. So the first one is picture. Then the next keyword is the value, the value that we're going to pass into that parameter. So again, value is a keyword, you mustn't change that. But here we're passing in the picture. Now this is the value that we've passed in from the button click. So it's sent in that picture into the picture and then into here. And that's the value we're passing up. We can make a secondary call to post message. And here we're going to pass in again the keyword name. This time user is the parameter name. Keyword of value. And then obviously the user. So that will be Rich or Matt that's passed in here. So that's all we need to do inside of our HTML page. And that's ready to go. Back to our web page. We've got our two buttons, and as I click on any of these buttons, we should see the username and image update. So here we go. Richard's been sent in, and his Gravatar image is updated. Pass in myself, and there's my name and my photo up there as well. So that's how we use JS Message to send parameters into our dashboard. It can be a bit tricky at first if you're not used to JavaScript. So I've bundled all the files up, and they are available for you to download and have a play with. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe for more content from the Squirrel team. And uh, if you don't have Squirrel yet, uh, please visit the links below to get yourself a free 30-day trial of Squirrel. Thanks for watching.